I'm going to show you the most fun bug that has existed in Minecraft for a very long time. It's available right now, and it's easy, enjoyable, and most importantly, won't harm your multiplayer or long-term survival world experience. This is something I'm going to show you alongside a bug which is finally being fixed. It's a 1.20 bug that is perhaps the most annoying. It's being fixed in the next update, and it is a game changer for so many worlds. Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and Minecraft Bedrock gets so much negative coverage when it comes to bugs, but there's also so many fun things, and indeed bugs that people rely on every single single day, and sometimes those bugs are ones you can take advantage of in basically harmless ways that are incredibly fun, and that is the case for this first one. So, uh, yeah, let, this is uh, something fun about Minecraft Bedrock you might not know. You can jump and use the Elytra even from just the ground. This is something that is much harder to do on Java. The Elytra mechanics just work differently there, uh, but something fun that you can do now, I'll show you in first person for this, is you can hold the A button and you'll kind of carry some of your momentum forwards into the next jump that you do. This means that, as you can see, as I'm going towards the ground, I'm slowly picking up more and more height and indeed momentum with my Elytra. This means that although walking across this would happen, you know, fairly fast, I can fly across it much faster just using my Elytra to bounce over and over and over again. Also, most crucially, because the Elytra takes damage every four seconds or so, you're not actually using the Elytra to do this, and so you can go insanely fast without ever using any rockets or anything else. This is really fun for short little hops where you're going at normal speeds, but if you want, this can be, ab uh, you know, really be abused to insane uh, levels because if you have a really long tunnel, like let's say this one right here, you can use this speed increase and just go faster and faster and faster and faster, and as long as you get the bounces just right every time, uh, then you can increase your speed over and over and over again uh, to points where you're going silly, 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 silly fast. If you have a relatively flat area with some hills, you can see this working really effectively right here. Just holding down the A button so you hit the ground, then immediately re electroing You can just kind of, uh, kind of crawl along the ground if you really want to, but using some wings. This works extra effectively if you have jump boost, because then those bounces from the ground just get a little bit higher, and it's so, so, so fun. It is fun to just kind of sit here with an Elytra bouncing and going around the world just like this, and if you do it just right, you'll go some serious places. Anyway, this is one of the most fun bugs. Give it a try if you haven't already, because the Elytra, uh, you know, kind of uh, being able to use it from regular bounces is something that's already a weird bedrock feature, but being able to use it basically consistently to fly through the air really close to the ground where you won't get hurt without using any fireworks whatsoever is a big game changer. You know what else is a big game changer? Uh, the fact that in the next update, Minecraft is doing something huge. You know this guy right here, he'll sell you all sorts of trees and all sorts of wild things from around your world. This is pretty great for challenges, and so uh, that he actually sells you right now every single type of tree that exists, with one key exception being the cherry tree. They didn't add it to 1.20, but they did make this bug report where they confirmed that that was something they intended to do and just kind of didn't. And so now, after 1.20.20, the next update, you'll be able to trade with the wandering trader and get cherry saplings. This is, again, fairly small for most worlds, but if you have a long-term survival world where you have no idea where your nearest cherry grove is, or if you're playing, let's say, a super flat world where there are no trees, or if you're in a cave where you have no access to the surface because cherry groves only spawn well above Y0, then this guy is going to be your savior if you can find him, and I love that. It's such a rare thing, but just adding it as an option is something that's really nice. The Wandering Trader is a feature that should be updated, and I love that Minecraft looked at an update, said, yeah, we made a mistake and actually decided to fix it. Sometimes Minecraft will double down on their bad stances and say, no, 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 we, we, we did this wrong and so now we'll do it wrong for the end of time, like with building above the nether, they just insist it's technically a bug and so they can't do anything about it. Uh, but I love when Minecraft is willing to say, yeah, actually, it would be better if we did it the way the community wanted, and I really, really love to see that with the Wandering Trader. Ultimately, right now is a really good time for Minecraft and bug fixing, and indeed future Minecraft requests, because if you don't know, we have no features that are an experimental right now. Besides crawling and recipe unlocking, which are coming as part of the next update, alongside that cherry sampling fix, all of these are creator features that have just been there forever and indeed are in aimed at creators of maps and aren't really that big of a priority, which means there are no major experimental toggles left over, which is exciting. What is Mojang going to work on next? Are they going to have the next major update be coming in there real soon? Is it going to be more features coming from Java or something else altogether? We don't know, but I am incredibly excited and that is where my current mood is. We have a bug in Minecraft, um, which is to do with movement, which is actually fun and which you can have some real good time 
times with. Look at that bounce I just did right there. Um, we have a movement bug that doesn't just break things, it's actually fun. We have ourselves bugs being fixed in large quantities. They fix floating polar bears in a, uh, one of the betas recently. But we have uh, all sorts of important bugs being fixed, which I love. We have all sorts of uh, you know changes being made to actually make the game better, the way that people want it to be. And we have the space for more things coming in the future. This is very exciting in terms of those new features, but also just for me. I, uh, you know, as someone who has done the cave challenge and indeed super flat, both of those things would be made much better by the addition of cherries. And so for those of you wondering, I might just be able to come back to super flat. I am going to get that last tree and maybe even wait for that lightning that I desperately need. And also, uh, kind of crucially for anyone uh, watching who really liked the caveman challenge, I know that it came to an end. However, what if we continue it even further? I am going to have a full uh, you know, kind of summary and recap for everyone who hasn't seen the past six episodes. I'll leave a link down below if you do want to watch them uh, as well. But I think we're going to be coming back to that world because of the popular requests. Thank you to everyone who has enjoyed looking at that world. And I look forward to giving you an update as to what we're doing in there in the future. This has been a relatively quick video. I hope you liked it. I've been, uh, I I'm currently out in the midst of Canada somewhere. And I appreciate... Uh, you, you enjoying this video and watching it because, yeah, like I said, Minecraft Bedrock is at a stage right now where there's so much critique about various bugs, but it is actually getting better in a serious way for the first time in a very long time. It is noticeable, and uh, I really like that personally, and I wanted to give you an update on my current good feelings. Maybe you're having good feelings too. Maybe you're having bad feelings too. Let me know in the comments down below. For now, I hope you all enjoyed, because I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.